Wojtek the Soldier Bear was a Syrian brown bear adopted as a cub by Polish soldiers in Iran during the Second World War. He was taught to salute by Peter Prandis, a soldier who was appointed his keeper. He learned other soldierly habits as well, including drinking beer and smoking cigarettes. Above all, he loved wrestling with the soldiers. He had a playful nature and raised the morale of the troops with his antics, such as the time when he stole an entire clothesline of ladies' underwear belonging to some female personnel. Pets were not allowed to be taken into combat, but when the time for action came, the soldiers wanted Wojtek to be with them. So Wojtek was enlisted as a private into the 22nd Artillery Transport Company of the Polish 2nd Corps and given a serial number and a paybook. His finest moment came at the Battle of Monte Cassino in 1944 when he carried ammunition to his comrades. Despite the frightening sound of gunfire all around him, he never dropped a single shell. A picture of a bear carrying a shell became the official emblem of the 22nd Company. At the end of the war, he was billeted at Winfield Camp, an army camp in the Scottish borders, and then given to Edinburgh Zoo when the soldiers were demobilised. He became the star attraction at the zoo. Touchingly, if he heard a visitor to the zoo speaking Polish, he would stand on his hind legs and salute. He died in 1963. In 2015, a statue of Wojtek was unveiled in Princess Street Gardens in Edinburgh. On the 20th of October 2018, I went along to see it and also to take in a memorial service at the statue to celebrate the life of Wojtek and the Polish soldiers who took care of him. Well, here I am in front of the bronze statue of Wojtek by Alan Beatty Herriot. It's got a prime location here in Princess Street Gardens, an honoured place amongst all the other statues, monuments and memorials in this most beautiful of public parks.
I'd like to welcome particularly the Polish Consul General who will be laying a wreath towards the end of the service and once he's laid his wreath there'll be a moment's silence and anyone else who has a tribute or flowers then please do come up uh, and place them there. We have a couple of musical items as well. I'm delighted to welcome Bridget who's come up from the borders who will be singing My Love is Like a Red Red Rose, apparently a very favourite one with the Polish soldiers based in Scotland during the Second World War. We're delighted to have a representative not just from the Scouts but the uh, Polish Veterans Association too. And giving up their Saturday morning, this is a pretty big, big one, we have the children from the Polish school who gather on a Saturday morning and they will be singing the Polish anthem for us. But meanwhile, this wouldn't have happened without Eileen and she's just going to say a few words. Eileen. Well, the very reason that uh, we're here today is to remember the story of Martin Air. But uh, although we can't, I know many of the Poles claim him for his own, the Scottish people really want to have the biggest claim. Um, I was brought up with the story of Wojtek, I have no Polish ancestry whatsoever, but my grandfather was in the King's Own Scottish Borderers, and uh, he was with the Poles who came out of Siberia, and uh, he, his job was to get those Poles fit uh, to fight. Ironically. And uh, when he came back, um, he was with them for 10 months, but, uh, almost 12 months, and when he uh, departed to Alexandria, and when they came back, when he came back to the, the barracks in Berwick, um, he found that uh, all these Poles and the bear were only six miles away, and the reunion took place, which I believe is a very emotional uh, reunion. Now, the point about it is, Many years later, I've heard all this story all my life, and many years later, I married the man who owned Winfield Camp, uh, and I didn't know until I came back from honeymoon. So I, w I think I was destined to, to bring the beer here. And thank you to everybody in the Polish community who contributed to this, this beer, because every single one of you, and the Scottish people, uh, have been a tremendous support. Thank you. Thank you, Eileen. Yeah. 
PSA companion to these fine soldiers who are missing their families at a great distance, but more than just a pet, more than just a companion, Wojciech was part of a team. He was part of a band of brothers. He did more. He went the extra mile. And if you saw the great article in the evening news yesterday, we hear of him carrying the ammunition on his back up to the soldiers on the foot of the Anzio Hill. So Wojciech does three things. He teaches us respect, and that's something we all need today, particularly respect for all God's creation and all his creatures. Wojciech reminds us of friendship and companionship and how we all need that today. And this really celebrates the great friendship and companionship between Scotland and Poland. But he goes the extra mile for all of us. He's part of a team. He doesn't hold back. And by going that extra mile, he becomes part of this fine band of brothers who we have the privilege of remembering today. everyone who's put this together. Can I thank you all for coming here and making it a really special day. Our intention now is to have this as an annual event every May. So you can always look back and say you helped launch uh, the annual event. So thank you very much indeed. And before we go, a short blessing. Wojciech and your brave soldiers May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all and all those who you remember this morning and forevermore. Amen. Watch it, look, I'm making it more than I don't know, maybe not the kit. Maybe the other one might. Yeah, well, we just done it. We just done it. <laughs> 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 
That's good, right? So hopefully it's all just posted. Smiao, smiao, come.